Hey, hey, welcome back to Free Software Tips. So today I'll be showing you another video tutorial on how you could uh, fix the no internet access whenever you try to connect using the 5 GHz Wi-Fi on your PLDD home fiber router. So if you're just new to this channel, be sure to click that subscribe button and bell notification to get updated with the latest tips and tricks on this channel. So without further ado, let's get started. So before we get started, I assume that you have already watched and enabled your 5 GHz Wi-Fi on your LED Home Fiber. If you haven't yet, just go ahead and go to my page or I'll just put this link on the description. You could go ahead and watch this how to enable 5 GHz Wi-Fi on your LED Home Fiber. It's a beginner's guide. And uh, this tutorial is actually just a continuation or a fix for the issue that you might be encountering after enabling the 5 gigahertz wi-fi in case that you might not be having internet access whenever you try to connect using the 5 gigahertz wi-fi so go ahead and uh, open up this page um this is the video tutorial for accessing the full admin account so basically the admin account is not a uh, full administrator account on the router so we're going to use the admin PLDD account so if you don't know yet what's uh, or how you could log in using the full admin access i have this guide right here but i won't tackle much on that one what we are going to need is to click on this website right here i'm just going to paste this link on the description and then once we have this one loaded up i have here compiled the uh, credentials to that might work depending on the software versions of your router so go ahead and minimize this one first and then open up a command prompt and again we're going to look for our um, gateway type in here ip config and then look for the default gateway and uh, might be able to see here 182.168.1.1 so go ahead and paste that one or um, type that one on your address bar 192.168.1.1 but since i have changed this one i'm just going to change this to dot three and hit the enter button and again you might be able to encounter this your connection isn't private go ahead and click the advanced button and click on continue to 192.168.1.3 if you're not able to reach on this page you might want to try and copy this HTTPS or type it here manually and type in here the 192.168.1.1 since some routers require this HTTPS beforehand and it doesn't automatically put that one for you so you tend to have errors and you're not able to reach this login page so go ahead and try that one if you are not able to reach this page so if you might be wondering how can you find this um, version right here you could go ahead and log in using the ordinary account admin account not the admin validity account and then type in the password which again by default is uh, 1234 or uh, 1234 so if you if you're stuck with this kind of um, the button is grayed out you could just simply go ahead and open up a new tab and close that window and again type in here the ip address of your router and you might be able to see here username or password error you simply type back up again so i have changed the password from 1234 since it will ask you to change to that one so you'll be able to see your router's software version on the software device information page here is my device information i use this rp2646 which is the first credentials that is present on this um compilation page on my website so once you're able to find your appropriate um, software version you could just go ahead and log out on this page since we're going to log in using the admin ability and the fiber home super admin account if you are already on this page what we have to do right now is just simply go ahead and replace this login.html with a fh so basically our address right now is 192.168.1.1 for your end forward slash fh and then hit the enter button and it will again as you can notice it will redirect you again to forward slash login.html since it will just enable 
the um, Fiber Home account on the router. So go ahead and go to the website that I have asked you to open a while ago. And look depending on your um, software version which credentials would work for you. Some credentials would work even on a different um, credentials. You could just go ahead and scroll and try the um, respective um, credentials here. So for my account, I'm just going to use this one. Fiber Home Super Admin. This is the Fiber Home Super Admin account. And the router, as we have uh, tried a while ago, need to put the forward slash fh. I'm going to paste this one here for the password. Just copy, and copy that one and paste it again here. Hit the login button. And now uh, it will take you to this login page and click on the debug switch. And be sure to enable the web admin switch. Hit the apply button. Once done, you could go ahead and log out. If you tend to um, see an empty um, settings on that page, you could go ahead and try restarting your router first or clearing the cache on your web browser. So after that one, you will be redirected to this login.html. Go ahead and type in here again, forward slash fh. And again, the purpose of that one is that to ensure that we are logging in or enabling the um, login page for that particular admin validity account. So for the administrator, we're going to type in here, admin validity. And for the password, you could go ahead and look for the passwords that would work out for you. So here are the possible passwords for my current um, RP2646 and RP2684. Go ahead and try whichever password would work for you. But since I have changed this one already, I'm just going to type in here my password. Once you have entered the password, go ahead and click the login button. So um, you'll be able to see this page right here. Basically, it would look very much the same with the, the settings that we had before. However, this has more features compared to the admin account. Since this is the full admin access where you get to see all the features of the router. So go ahead and click on the network tab. To enable the 5 GHz Wi-Fi internet, go to the um, broadband settings. And you'll be able to see here the 5 GHz um, SSID binding. Go ahead and enable all those SSIDs which are by default. Also, you could go ahead also and check the SSIDs um, 2, 3, and 4 for the 2.4 GHz to also have uh, internet on those particular SSIDs. So once done, go ahead and hit the apply button. So once done, go ahead and log out this page and uh, restart your router and see if that would uh, enable or solve the problem which in case that you might not be having no internet access on the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi networks. So that's basically it. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more helpful tips and tricks on this channel. And also leave your feedbacks down below. Till then, see you again on my next videos.